Hey, you are on. Congratulations. Oh, hi. How are you? Very good. Uh, so this is the general press room. And uh, so we're going to have questions from, from the press. And the first one is from Sin uh, from KTLA. OK. Hi there, Aaron. Congratulations to you. You hey, were Sam. sitting with a, a group. You? Good to see you. You really good. You were so pleased to see you tonight. You were sitting with a large group of people. With using that audience as a microcosm, what did your group think of the show tonight? Loved it, um, uh, and uh, so did I. You know, I, I was just saying, we, I I think everybody kind of you missed the social aspect of it, right? Because. Um, uh, it, it, usually, when, if you're there with a movie, you haven't seen these people since you wrapped. Um, so you miss the social aspect of it, but there's something really nice watching with your friends and your family. Um, uh, it, it, I don't know, it, it kind of felt more intimate tonight than, uh, than it usually does. Amy and Tina did an amazing job, uh, but it, it really worked. Okay, the, the next question is from Chris Tronson from GMA7. Okay. And Chris Tronson with GMA7. My question for you is, I know you had looked for this, uh, a director for this project for many years. I believe even Steven Spielberg has thrown out to do this. However, since I think around 2015 or so, been directing yourself and you directed this film, does this Golden Globe mean more for you tonight? Because not only did you write, but you actually directed this film as well. I believe it's your first award for a, a director. Uh, <clears throat> yes, that is the case. And um, you know what? It I think it means the most to me because it's... Um, it, because right now Chicago Seven is the movie, um, you know, to, that I just finished uh, and that I love, and uh, that that's that screenplay award. The HFPA isn't reading screenplays; they're looking at movies. So it's not just for me. Um, uh, it's for the cast. It's for the designers. It's for the crew. It's for the producers. It's for the studio. And uh, I'm I'm so proud of everyone I worked with on this film. Thank you. Okay. Question is for Kevin Frazier from AT. Okay. Aaron, how are you doing? Is that Kevin? Uh, congrats. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. How are okay. You doing I can't see you, but I can hear um, you. Okay. Congratulations, and what was it to have all those friends and family there? Because normally you get a plus one in that. Um, it was it was great to have friends and family here. Uh, you know, I and um, probably everybody, you, you miss the social aspect uh, a little bit at the Golden Globes. It's a party. Uh, and usually you haven't seen these people since you wrapped the movie. Uh, so, so you're getting to see people you haven't seen in a while. Um, but uh, tonight, you know, watching from home, watching with friends and family, uh, just the it it was great. It was relaxed. It was intimate. I thought Tina and Amy did a fantastic job. Uh, it was a lot of fun tonight. It really was. Awesome! Congratulations. Yeah. The question right, thanks, goes yeah. to Jeremy Parr, people the show. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Uh, on, I just wanted to, to see how excited you are for your uh, your man, Aaron Cohen, you know, really cleaning up tonight, had a great night. How excited are you for him? How would you guys be partying and celebrating if it weren't COVID? <laughs> First of all, I couldn't be more excited uh, for... Uh, for Sasha, um, uh, you know, he had the Golden Globes surrounded. He was bound to win something <laughs> tonight, and he won two awards. He's actually only one of two people who won two awards uh, uh, tonight. Uh, so I couldn't be more proud of him. And uh, in terms of the the social aspect of tonight, um, 
Sure. I think everybody, you, you, you like the party part of it. You like seeing people you haven't seen uh, uh, in a while. Um, but on the other hand, being with your friends and family, watching from home, uh, there was an intimacy to it. Um, I thought Tina and Amy did a fantastic job. Uh, so uh, I, I had a fantastic time tonight. Okay, and the last question is for Alex Joy okay. from Hollywood Unlock. Thank you. Oh, congratulations on this win. How important was it for you to have this story get out? I mean, we never expected, you know, January 6th to happen, but you still mentioned that in your speech. So how how is it just a full circle moment for you? And, and what does it feel like? Incredible. Um, listen, we thought that the film was plenty relevant last winter when we were making it. We didn't need it to get more relevant, but it did, mm -hmm. right? in May with the police killings of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and protesters taking to the streets in cities all across the country. And in a number of those cities, those protesters being met by riot clubs and tear gas. And then of course, on January 6th, Donald Trump standing up and doing exactly what the trial, what the Chicago seven world trial uh, for doing. Um, mm -hmm. We, you know, um, the movie was never meant to be about 1968. It was always meant to be about today. I just couldn't ever have imagined how much about today it was going to end up being. Thank you. Thanks okay. very much. I appreciate it. Um, have a good night. Ara, thank Thanks you. a lot, guys. Congratulations. Again. Everybody gets stressed. Bye-bye. Thank you.